guys welcome back um, this is Karen from the glam p27 and I thought today I would go ahead and do a video on um, what I packed on my road trip so this is the Vera Bradley road trip edition and I just recently took a vacation um, over the three-day weekend for Labor Day um, to Las Vegas and um, we actually decided to drive from California um, so about oh. Sacramento area all the way to Vegas and so that was about a 575 to 580 mile um, distance and uh, this is everything that I packed with me so I um, unfortunately couldn't do a video due to time restrictions while I was packing and while I was there just because there was just so much going on um, but I did get back and I haven't unpacked anything so I figured that I would um, show you everything that I packed why I packed it um, and why I chose, um, maybe not why I packed things, but I wanted to talk about why I chose the Vera for the trip. Um, like the certain items that I, I picked for our trip. So um, I will go ahead and get into that. Stay tuned. Um, yeah, let's get into it. So let's go ahead and start with the throws. Okay, so since this was a road trip, I decided to pack two throws um, in case it got a little cold. And it was actually pretty chilly on um, Friday night. Um, and we left around um, midnight, it was around 12 or 1 a.m. because we had about an 8 to 10 hour drive and so um, my husband was actually driving first and so I thought I would pack some throws just to um, make sure that I was cozy enough and warm enough um, because it did get a little bit cold and he did have the AC on so this is the Bon Bon Medallion throw blanket and this is one of my absolute favorite throws um, that Vera has done. That is Bon Bon Medallion. I absolutely love that pattern. Um, and then I also picked the hanging around throw because this was one of my newer throws and I absolutely adore this one. And I decided to take this one as well. And this is the one that I use the most. Um, um, but the only problem with this one was is that I had washed it and it was clean, but I was wearing black. Uh, I was wearing black leggings and a black shirt. And I kid you not, when I had gotten out of the car, I was just covered in lint. So I don't know if that means that I need to wash it again, but um, but yeah, that was that was not a, I wasn't happy about that, but I mean, I didn't care because it was in the middle of the night. Like, I'm not worried about it too much, but I just was curious. Maybe I need to just run it through the wash again and maybe dry it again um, to get that little bit of extra fuzzies off of this. But, um, but I still love it nonetheless. I think that's just something that can be fixed. Um, and then let's talk about the Market Tote. It's the Sensational Six Paisley. This was for all of our food and snacks. Um, I had actually, so there's still some snacks and stuff that I've gotten here, but I had kept like um, some baked crackers and some peanut butter. And then I put all of our drinks in here. I, you know, I had actually forgot to take my Best in Show lunch cooler. It's the insulated one. And I had stuck that in the freezer with like some Red Bulls and a couple Cokes and then um, my peanut butters, like the little peanut butter cups. And um, I was trying to chill everything so that I would stay cold for a long time, at least on our drive. And I totally forgot that. By the time that I got home, thankfully it's not ruined, but the Cokes had exploded. <laughs> The Cokes had exploded in the freezer and I had forgotten. I have washed it now, but I forgot to take it out and I was so upset because I wanted some Coke <laughs> on the way for some caffeine. Um, so anyways, that wasn't fun, but I did want to mention that this was going to go with me, but I had forgotten it in the freezer before we left. Um, and this just had all of our water bottles and extra sodas and things like that, like Red Bulls. We had gotten some on the way, so we just kept um, some nuts, you know, uh, in um, Ziploc bags. So we kept those as snacks, like Ziploc things, um, you know, the crackers, some extra peanut butter, mm -hmm. things like that in this market tote. So we just kept it in the back of the car, in the back seat, and it was easy to um, grab things that we needed while we were, um, because things weren't actually open um, in the middle of the night, with the exception of gas stations, and so we just packed what we had on hand. And uh, that way we wouldn't have to, you know, buy too much stuff on the way. So yeah, so that is the market tote. I do love that. Um, 
Then I have my best in show, my actual tote. And I, I had to pack this because I did have a meeting um, on Zoom on Sunday. So um, I needed to make sure that I had my stuff for that. And I had kept, you know, just my usual typical stuff that I usually carry in my tote bags, like my notepads, my notebooks. Um, my Vera Bradley on a roll case in French Paisley. Uh, hanging around clipboard folio. And my Hummingbird Park notebook. Um, it was about an hour meeting, but I still had to attend over the weekend, so I had to make sure that I had, um, you know, my usual stuff. So I did have to carry, I did have to take this with me. I love this. And I just decided to take the Best in Show one because my other luggage was uh, in Best in Show, so I thought I'd just match everything. So yeah, that is that. For the actual drive, I decided to take my backpack in Rainforest Twall. And I am actually, okay, I have thoughts on this. For the road trip, it was perfect. What I did was I kept my electronics in here. So, um, and I'll show you exactly what that was, but um, I kept my video game stuff in here. So I had my Nintendo Switch and then I had an extra controller because um, I was gonna go see my best friend and her fiance and we, my best friend and I are gamers. We have gamed together since like birth. <laughs> and so anytime she comes to me or I go to her, we always bring extra controllers so we can play. Um, and I, you know, I took my Nintendo Switch with me and then I have my cord organizer for all of my extra, like my power bank, um, my charger necessities, all of that stuff um, and then extra cords and cables and things so this came in handy this was so useful and I just because of that power bank I just kept this in my backpack for that um, and everything fit very comfortably in here because of its size this is what I loved about it it was very road trip friendly and I kept this in the front with me so that way I'd have access to it and then um, in this compartment, I just kept my game, my games. So I had like my little thing with my little holder with all my games in it. And I've got quite a few games, but I love my Nintendo Switch. I love, I love taking this um, on the road trip because while um, hubby was driving, um, I was able to at least get some you know, some hours of playtime, um, and, you know, instead of just staying on my phone and scrolling, um, I really appreciated that. So, in regards to, uh, functionality and what I needed this for, this was very functional, and it was perfect for having necessities on hand without me needing to reach into my purse. Um, I did keep my purse nearby, but I wanted to have, like, things that I really, really needed, um, up front and ready for me. Um, so I really love that backpack for that. Now, as a daily wear backpack, I just wish this was a little bit smaller. Like if I were to use this, um, you know, every day for like as a purse, I do think that it's just a little big, particularly because it's also in performance twill. And performance twill tends to be a little bit thicker and, um, you know, more substantial. So it, it almost appears a little bit bigger than like the other cotton backpacks. So, so that's, I mean, that's just my opinion on that. And, but I thought for functionality wise, for what I needed this for, it was perfect. Um, so I probably won't get another small backpack in Performance 12, but I absolutely loved this one for what I needed it for. Um, and you could use this as a purse as every day, you know, for every day if you wanted to. Um, it's not like, it doesn't look too big or bulky. Um, I'm just saying that like preference wise, I do wish they had something that was a little bit smaller. Like, you know, I wish they would they they would bring back the mini um, the mini backpack because that is like the perfect purse size for every day. Um, you know, so that's my thoughts on the on the small backpack in Performance Twill. Now that I've actually really gotten a chance to really really use it, 
um, for an extended period of time. I do love this. Um, I'm glad that I have this piece. Um, it works for what I needed it for, you know, and um, I don't have complaints in that regard. And then I do like that the straps are a little bit different. Um, you don't get the loop. Um, you don't get the little, you know, like the adjusters, you do it over here. Like they give you adjusters like this, um, rather than the strap adjusters. So that's a little bit different. So I did like that. So then I took my weekender in best in show. And this was what I used to keep all of my um, skincare, my makeup, and my camera bag in, as well as my hair straightener. So um, I took two of the larger bags. So I did take the large duffel for all of my clothes, and then I took the weekender for all of my like accessories and things like that. So I have this um, this little light uh, reactive uh, I think it's petite vines it's some variation of petite vines in the reactive and um, this is a medium cosmetic and I use this to keep all of my husband's um, like toiletries and stuff so like his deodorant his uh, like toothpaste our toothbrushes and um, his cologne I just put everything in there for him and he didn't complain, he didn't like ask me why does it have flowers <laughs> all over it, he was fine. So um, this came in handy because if anything did leak, um, this is waterproof, so I do love that. So I put his stuff in here. And then I have my, so I'll just show you if you can see that. Um, I kept my French Paisley, um, this is like the hair straightener, hair curling iron. Um, holder and I just kept my straight hair straightener in this and I do love this so this is one of those items that I don't feel like I need a bunch of but just one is good like you know for my bags and stuff I have multiples but like this is just the only one that I have and I'm completely happy with having this in French piece like this so love that pattern it's beautiful and this was very very handy um, I was able to find this you know no issues I knew where it was um, didn't have issues with my hair or like my hair straightener and the cord being all over the place like you know it was just easy to store it in this so very happy with that and then my camera my camera case I just kept this on one side of it of the bag and then on the other side I kept my lay flat cosmetic in strawberry ice and this has all of my skincare in it for my you know it's funny but it's like I only went for like two to three days but like I just took all my skincare um because I do evening and morning skincare so um this was very large and spacious and very helpful very large and spacious and very helpful um storage for all of my skincare. I have mostly like drunk elephant products, uh, some Sunday Riley, some belief, um, you know, all my oils and things like that that I use. And I, you know, I don't go pretty much a day without using skincare. So I chose this specific um, cosmetic case to carry everything in and everything fell off. Everything fit perfectly. Uh, I have like my nighttime stuff on one side or like my nighttime stuff on one side and then my daytime stuff in the center and then on one side as well so very very handy very helpful item very plushy and squishy um, it might even be deformed from <laughs> and the nice thing about this too is it is uh, waterproof so if any of my makeup spilled I wasn't worried about it ruining the actual cosmetic bag so um, I had a little issue with some of my oil spilling in there and I was just able to take out some of my other stuff and just do a quick like wipe you know a wipe down and it was absolutely just fine so um, and then I kept yeah I didn't put anything in this section but I could have I could have put smaller creams or eye creams or lip balms or something in here um, but I just put everything um, in that in that main compartment so yeah, so this was such a great item.
I would totally use that for like all of my all of my trips. Uh, whether I'm flying, not carry, not carry on, but like my checked in stuff. Then for my makeup, I took the Penelope's Garden. I think this is the blush and brush case. And this thing, let me tell you, phenomenal. This was so fantastic. Uh, surprisingly for it being like an outlet pattern and outlet style, this one. Um, they do have this style in a signature version, but I mean, I'm talking about the outlet version itself. Sturdy, heavy duty, and it was able, I was still able to get it closed despite having so much stuff in here. So you do see it like, you know, it's kind of protruding a little bit because of what I've got. Um, but this thing was a, so in one section I had my makeup. So I had my, my one eyeshadow palette, um, my one face palette. Um, and then in here I have like my eye stuff. So like my eyeliners, um, eyebrow pencils, eyeshadow primers, eyeshadow primers, my um, actual, you know, shape, little shape tape concealer, um, all my little stuff that I kept in this little cosmetic, this mini cosmetic. Um, and then I put that, you know, literally in one section, in that one section, um, in there. And then in here, I put all of my eyeshadow brushes in here. Oh, there's a little, my eyebrow pencil, but I did keep all of my brushes, my eye brushes in this little pouch that I put in the brush, uh, the blush and brush case. And then I have a face primer and just one foundation, just my two face foundation. Um, and that was, oh, and a, a powder, a face powder and a, like a face palette, the hourglass, the hourglass face palette too, just to get a little bit of variety. So um, everything fit perfectly. Um, well, I wouldn't say perfectly because it was a, just a little tight. Oh, I did take this. I did take this eyeshadow palette, but I forgot about it, so I only ended up using the one eyeshadow palette that I had. Um, it's a little bit tight, but then again, I do have more stuff than probably the normal person. Um, I don't know. I love makeup. Makeup kind of makes me happy. Um, it's fun. Uh, I like to express myself through makeup, you know, like I will choose certain colors based on how I'm feeling. Um, I enjoy it, you know, so I wanted to make sure that I had something like a kit that would be able to hold everything that I needed and this did the job and um, I would take this again. I love Penelope's Garden, one of my favorite patterns of all time. So I'm going to just, you know, close this up and it closed up perfectly no issues um, and then you get to see those little so that was that that one section and then in the other section I just had my face brushes so that's that um, oh and I know why it's a, it's a little bit bulky because I had some extra I had some extra brushes in one of the pockets but if I took those out, because I don't necessarily need those, sometimes I'll take a little bit extra. Um, but then you don't, you don't have those bulky areas. This thing can fit stuff. Um, this can, I, I absolutely love this. If you're looking for something that's more affordable, go with the factory outlet version. Um, pick a pattern that you like. This feels substantial. It feels like the signature cotton stuff. Um, I love it, yeah. Highly recommend this one. And this is just the interior of that bag. So um, I just got one loose setting spray, but overall this got the job done for what I needed it for. And I will just pack it back up with my stuff and then I will deal with uh, <laughs> the unpacking at a later time. But this pretty much got the job done for me. I was happy with it. Yeah, just throw that stuff in there and 
you know, great size bag for all that stuff. Fits everything. This is also in Best in Show. It is the large duffel. And in here, I kept um, my clothes. So this had all of my clothes stuff um, and ditty bags. So this ditty bag is actually, originally had shoes in it, like clean shoes that we were gonna use. Um, and then we kept all of our dirty laundry in here. So this was perfect for that. This is also in the Penelope's garden. Um, and then this ditty bag that we had was for our clean underwear and undergarments. So um, this was also perfect for that. I actually really like their ditty bags. They come in handy for, for laundry or toiletries or anything like that. And then I just had my clothes, so there's no other Vera stuff in here. That is the large duffel. Love this thing too. This is um, the purse that I had switched into and it is the tea garden squared away and this purse um, I now have thoughts about it um, after having used it for at least a week um, and taking it with me on our trip but I do have thoughts on this so I will do a review a full review on it but um, what I basically had in this has changed a little bit based on what I needed it for um, I changed the tech case it was originally in plum crazy and I used the tea garden one instead uh, this one was brand new, so, and I use this for masks. I have my hair ties and um, some extra masks in here. Then in this pocket here, I've got my three pens, um, a lotion that I got from Hallmark, and my wallet. And this is the I have a wallet and a zip ID, but this is the Happy Snails. I'm not sure. It's like a Kiss Lock wallet, um, but I don't know exactly what it's called. Um, I did take my ID and stuff out of here, my cards and stuff, but while I was there, I did use this. Um, this was basically my, my main wallet. Um, I did go to the outlets in Vegas, and I picked up a campus double ID, so I actually switched into that. But my coins are still in this little kiss lock section here. And I love this. I found this on, I think, Mercari. And it is so cute. So, I just put that back in there. And then here I have my little um, tissue case in pirouette pink, which I love my little tissue case and then I keep um, some medication certain medication up in here so that is that um, easy to find look at that pattern that is just so beautiful I love that I did get a little bent from being in the bag the way that I put it in there but I love this pattern um, so cute and it's so clean And I just put that in there. And then I did have, just so you know, FYI, I did have snacks and stuff in here too um, that I used for my, so it's a little bit emptier than when you probably saw me pack it. Um, but I do have my hand sanitizing wipes back here, my gum, my Kingston Garden pill case, which I love love this this is a lifesaver especially for trips the travel pill case my little journal for like my little Vera Bradley notes so I have actually written in this <laughs> and I'll write like what I purchased like what arrived you know what I'm loving what is you know um, especially with my retired my retired stuff I will log in there and then this was just touch-up stuff like little mini makeup stuff like a little lip gloss, lip balm, a brush, um, a little thing, a highlighter if I needed it, um, stuff like that, a lipstick. Oh, and then I did have my extra cards in this, in the 
flower shower zip ID case. Um, so in this wallet here, there were some extra cards that wouldn't, uh, you know, that were kind of getting in a little bit tight. So I just moved them in here and then I put them in together, like in the same sort of slot. And then one of my favorite items, which is a newer item, which will be in a video for thread up, like one of my thread up hauls, is this Lilac Time makeup pouch or, or I think small cosmetic case. I just kept, um, I have the little three, the little three bottles that come in one of the other pill cases. I have Tums, Advil, and then the other one was just empty. Um, just so that like in case, you know, we needed stuff, like we needed some extra medication, I had that on hand. Um, you know, depending on if we ate some food or something, um, we'd have Tums on hand. So this is the Lilac Time. And it is so pretty. I love this pattern. I especially love it on this little pouch. And this pouch was brand new from ThreadUp. So I saw it and I just picked it up. And um, look at the detailing on the on the little on the little, you know, the zip tie here. Like they actually put flowers and stuff on it, which is really cute. So um, love this item. I will be doing a thread up haul um, on other things that I found and that will be all in that video. So yes, so this is my squared away. I will have a thorough review on this coming soon as well. So just bear with me. I know I hadn't filmed. Um, I put up like one video last week um, and didn't get to film just because I was trying to get through work and you know try to get through planning and prepping for our long road trip. Um, so that is everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching, um, maybe getting some ideas <laughs> if you guys go on a road trip. Um, ours was about eight to 10 hours long and this is everything that I took with me with the exception of a few snacks and you know toiletries and things like that. So, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.